Hey YouTube, this is Wonder Cole, and today I'm going to bring you a review of my new airsoft gun, uh, the H&K MP7. Um, I got this for 70 bucks at my uh, at my uh, sports store, uh, Academy Sports, and um, it was 70 bucks, pretty cheap. So I decided to get it, and uh, this time I'm probably going to keep it. Unlike my other guns, I buy, make reviews, and just uh, sometimes sell it. Um, but this is what the gun looks like. Comes with a 180 round high cap mag. Yeah, rifles, extendable stock. You can see. And then they can come off pulling this right there. CQB. But I like it on, so. Yeah. You close the door. Sorry, um. This gun is 240 uh, FPS with point twelves. Um, but I don't use point twelves, so I recommend you use point twenties. With point twenties is around 190, 180 FPS, and it doesn't jam the gun actually. It's pretty good, and uh, it comes with the grip, extended mag, but not the uh, red crossers I put on there. Uh, not for looks, but well, looks and um, better aiming. Um, the flash hider is detachable by twisting it and put, and uh, it has a um, threaded barrel so you could put a uh, mock silencer on there it comes with the grip a uh, tri quad rail I guess you can say one on the side two and another one on this side and a uh, rail on the top it also has the uh, um, if you guys played oh dang MW3 it has the uh, white aim uh I, I guess aim sights and also if you flip it up it reveals the um standard uh sight but you can't see it right now the scope is blocking it but this is what the front sight looks like I think you guys can see it wait right there And just flips down. <clears throat> right here is the uh, safe fire. Right here you got the hop up. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But it says on, hop, and off. Um, the mag release is right here. It's lever. And it doesn't fall out, so you have kind of to pull it out. That's what the gun looks like without the extended mag. And if you want to get a, a standard, you know, low cap mag, it's going to look like that. This is the mag. We'll wind up on the bottom. And the trap door is in the front right here. Pour your BBs in. Um, so, that's basically it, um, you guys, the, uh, Red Cross here. Dang it. Can't get it right. Right there. That's the Red Cross here. It off, and um, it's said on the box that the gun has a 600, um, uh, it shoots 600 rounds per minute. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably take this cover off right here. Oh, and to take the battery out, there's a little button on the bottom where you push. This is the arrow, you push in, you pull out, and the battery goes in this compartment. Um, but if you wanted to, you don't have to have this, uh, cover on you can probably put a bigger battery and just tape on the side so it shoots faster but the gearbox is plastic so 
it probably would be good to have it as a secondary or use it in CQB. But uh, this is what the gun sounds like. Wait, um, the selector switch is on this side, so first you have to put on, on uh, <clears throat> fire. And then right now it's in semi-automatic. Let's have you guys hear, uh, hear that. It sounds like it's silenced actually, it's pretty cool. And then automatic. It's down, it shows a lot of pictures of, uh, I mean, uh, the bullet. And this is with the standard mag, uh, I mean, battery it came with. Um, and my other mag, it uh, shoots, I mean, am I want to put my other battery in, um, it shoots a little bit faster. Um, it takes a small type battery. So, yeah, I think the orange tip can come off. You kind of have to uh, put it in uh, hot water and just pull it off. But um, anyways, um, that's basically everything about this H&K MP7. Thank you, YouTube, and bye.